Well hello everybody, this is Frogger here from Achievement Hunter, here to continue our guides in Dragon Age 2. We're wrapping up the main game with some collectibles with Chantry Restoring an Archaeologist, but you obviously already knew that because there's big fucking red letters on the screen that tell you that. But still, we are going to be getting these, and um, Chantry Restoring requires you to get all four chapters of the history of the Chantry, one of them's kind of hard to get, and Archaeologist, which requires you to get three of the four Enigma Codex pages in each act. Now, we're going to start straight off by getting the first part of the history of the Chantry here in Act 1, as you can see with the nice lettering I have at the bottom of the screen that tells you we're in Act 1. And you can see right there at the top right-hand corner of the Chantry is History of the Chantry Part 1. Now we're going to magically teleport to Low Town at night, which is, this is by the Alienage. And uh, where eventually you'll have Meryl. And Meryl's door's over there to the right, but to the left of it, bam, Enigma of Kirkwall. Now, for some reason, there's only three out of the four that you could actually get in this. I think the fourth one's kind of glitched, but whatever. Now, back at the Gallows. You might be able to get this one before you have access to Kirkwall. I didn't check, but there you go, Enigma of Kirkwall, but whatever. Now, eventually, when you get access to the Bone Pit, just do the Birthright quest... And then go through that whole thing, and then eventually you'll have access to the bone pit. And you can see here, a little bit off the beaten path, is this one. I'll show you where it is on the map here now. You can see that's where the bone pit quest is up there at the top. Now, teleported directly into Act 2. This is what I did at the very beginning of Act 2, right here in the Chantry. And uh, I know it's Act 2 because I had subtitles on for almost the entirety of Act 2. I don't know why. But see, in the same exact spot as the, as the last one, when Isabel allows me to get this. Oh, come on. There we go. It's an enigma. <gasps> not a not a history. Oh my god. Where could the where could the history be? After conveniently plays fade, we uh we go and we find it. Now you see where that marker is there? You may remember that from that quest that I showed you guys earlier in chapter two. Ooh. Now there's the history of the Chantry chapter two. Now remember that spot, because we'll be there a little bit later on in this video. Now, we're going to be teleporting ourselves here to Darktown. You can see here, I'm kind of in the middle leftist where the big alcove is. There's an exit right there to my right. I want to show you there's a leave area. And past those du two dudes talking is an Enigma of Kirkwall page. We've collected it. Now, let's go to the docks. And now we have to go to where um, this place is. <laughs> Sorry, I'll know in a second. Yeah, the Kunari compound. And then, of course, Isabella's like, I got, I got a, I left a stove on. And then she, she departs my party, and I'm like, oh, okay. So you can see this is, oh look, an Ari compound, the docks. I don't know why I had to show the map there. But um, instead of going to the right like you normally do, go to the left. I know. I just blew your mind. And then there's Enigma of Kirkwall. Now, on Anderson's companion quest called Descent, you have to do all, I would recommend doing all of Anders' companion quests. So that, because two of them are in his companion quest. And um, this at the very end of it, that's your exit. So I'll show you, don't go, don't go into there. Because I may have done that and had to replay this entire mission again to get this achievement. And there's actually quite a bit of loot back here. I want to show you there's a complex chest, which I don't think at that point I was stupid with placing Meryl, I mean, um, Isabella's stat, so I didn't get it. But over there, the Enigma Kirkwell page. Oh my god, we just found it. Now for the difficult Chantry Historian. At the end of the quest following the Cune, you're going to be inside the Chantry. Now, the final part's on that pedestal there. You're going to be able to run to it fast enough. So in between waves, just huddle near it, mash A, because if you don't get it during this fight, you're not going to be able to ever get it, because there's not a section where you just stand there talking to people. So be very careful. Now we're in Act 3. We're going to get the final part of the Chantry Historian here. Oh my god, we're going to get an achievement, guys! <gasps> so you go up here by where uh, one of those things you had to destroy in one of the previous quests was, and there's Chapter 4, and... Bloop, bloop, we got 25 gamer score for something that you... Takes you about maybe 10 minutes throughout the entire game to get. Very easy to get. Now we're going to be teleporting here to the quest, Anders' quest, Justice. Which, this puts you, I forget exactly what the name of this place is, but you're in it. And I'm going to show you the map here in a second. Yeah, the sewers part. This is where I have to collect, I don't remember which part of the collection it is, but you got to collect stuff, and there you go. Now, you can get this one either on the quest, on the loose, or best served cold. These are mainline story quests, you're going to be here no matter what. So just go here, go to this door, and you're in here. This is this is out off of the docks. This is part of the Templar like base and shit, crap, whatever. 
Now, on the side quest, Gamelin's greatest treasure. I want to show you something here. When you talk to Gamelin, you have to go talk to him. There's a crumpled on the desk. Make sure you pick it up, and then <gasps> a quest starts. Later on the quest, you're going to be inside this area, and you see I switched to Isabella here because she's my better trap doer person. And on here on the docks on the left-hand side, this is like um some food place. This is towards the end. There's going to be an Enigma note there. Here we go. And we got a 50 gamer score for that one. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of being a little dodgy here with details just because I don't want to spoil everything for you guys. Now here on uh, the last straw, once you fight a giant fucking demon to the right-hand side on the docks is going to be the final one that you can collect in case you didn't feel like collecting some of these. But that's going to just about do it for us here in Dragon Age 2. There's probably tons of DLC for that, so look forward to that later on AchievementHunter.com. See you guys later!